So let's talk about network policies, right? So you have uh, many applications running in your Kubernetes cluster, right? So you, you know, you have these applications are running in pods, and these pods are getting incoming traffic or ingress traffic, or uh, you know, they they are also communicating to other pods actually. So that's ex you know outgoing traffic or egress traffic. So and you want to actually have some control over like which pods can talk to which pods or which applications can talk to which applications and vice versa, right? So for that, actually, you can use network policies. So network policies uh, is basically an API that Kubernetes offers. And like right, you know, coming out of the box, actually, the, uh, you know, the features that Kubernetes uh, network policy API offers is limited, it's basic. And if you want more features, then you can go to uh, other CNI plugins like Calico. We'll talk about that later. Uh, first, actually, let's just look into this common use case. You have like different applications running in your, uh, in, in your Kubernetes cluster. So you, have, you could have databases, you could have backend code, like Python, Java code, and you could have like front end code. Generally, backend applications are the ones uh, which talk to a uh, database part. And you don't want your front end applications to be talking to your database. So you want to actually block the traffic coming from your front end part. Okay, another use case is you have multiple types of environments actually. You have production environment, you have staging, you have QA dev, all these environments. And generally, you don't want the traffic from your non-prod environments to be like talking to your prod environment, right? So for those kinds of like traffic control, right? So you want to block some traffic uh, from actually reaching to a certain destination. For that, you uh, you basically use the network policies. So. And how do you actually ha identify this traffic? You can actually identify pods. You can uh, say that I don't want or I want actually uh, to block a certain IP range. And, or you can say like I want traffic from this namespace to be uh, allowed and so on. And you can do that by means of using labels. So now that's the theory part. Let's jump to a quick demo and understand how it actually works. So you have like multiple pods actually. So I created like a database pod and I created a couple of ap application pods actually, or backend pods. So one is called a Python dev and another one is called Python prod. One is a dev environment, let's assume. Another one is a prod environment. So you, the idea is actually like, if I connect to, uh, let's say my my dev environment, and I'm actually going to use a simple uh, MySQL uh, program or a script, uh, a Python script, to to basically try and connect to the database and. Shockingly, actually, we are able to connect it from dev, and we can do the same from prod, and that's okay, right? So, I'm going to quickly show that to you. So, if I just do Python temp, and we are able to connect to the database, the MySQL database, right? And that's possible from both the pods. So, the idea is actually to block the traffic, the ingress traffic coming from this dev pod actually, right? So let, for that, we need to implement a network policy. So the network policy is this, np.yaml. Um, so you have the kind network policy and it's coming from this networking API and I'm gonna name it MySQL network policy. It's in the default namespace and I'm providing the specs for the rules, right? So you have, okay, this is actually being applied on MySQL part. So this, the label, you know, if you uh, look at uh, the labels of these pods, uh, which I should show you. So let's go ahead and look at the labels. Describe 
pod mysql i'll just do more we don't need to see all of it for mysql you have this label which comes by default and let's look at the label for python dev and that one has this label env equals dev and python prod so the label is env equals prod right so these are different labels that we have for our uh, applications so here i'm selecting you know this label run colon mysql and so this network policy is going to be applied on this mysql pod or for this mysql pod okay what kind of traffic do i want to control ingress okay and i'm just going to say that uh, any environment which has this label which matches this label environment prod is actually allowed to connect to this mysql pod right so that's basically a very simple rule right so we're going to see this simple example in action i'm going to go ahead and apply this policy okay the policy is created so now let's try to actually connect to my dev pod, uh, dev pod. let's see up oh, the pod let's say dev pod right here and i'm going to try and run that the same mysql script which connects to the database and gets that information and that was possible before right because if you remember we connected to python dev or attached to python dev and then we ran the program and it worked and now it's hanging so that means actually the network policy is actually blocking the traffic going from here to the database pod now we don't want the same to be happening for a prod uh, pod right that's a tongue twister so let's actually go ahead and run this one which is working actually so that's what we want so we have successfully blocked the connection coming from our dev pod actually so that's basically the point that's how you use network policies that's basically it and i hope this video was useful i'll see you guys in another video of mine and do check out my kubernetes for beginners playlist i have created more than 20 videos you'll find it useful thank you